Top of the fifth, Milwaukee already up 3 0, and Sexton goes looking for more, but runs into maybe the greatest left fielder of all time. Barry Bonds brings it back and worth another look. Talk about his offense, but you forget about just how good he is defensively. Bottom five, Eric Davis pinch hitting and coming through off Jeff D'Amico. Ties the game at three. It looks like a fan reached over the wall and caught the ball. Is that the same fan from the other game? You know what? This fan was at a few games. Devon White is not pleased. The next three batters were walked. Felipe Crispo is hit. The go-ahead run comes in. JT Snow will walk. That's another run. Giants up 5-3. Davy Lopes looking for answers and not going to find it on his lineup card. Giants go on to pick up the victory. 6-4. Rob Nen got the final four outs for his sixth save of the season. Sean Estes allowed three runs, four hits, and five walks in five innings. This was Eric Davis's third career pinch hit home run. The last one came back in 1989 against the Giants. Padres and Dodgers, top six. Padres down 3-1, two on. Ryan Klesko at the plate. Klesko, can I get some? Three run shot off Darren Dryford. Klesko's second homer of the year. Padres up 4-3. Bottom nine, Dodgers, no outs. Chris Donalds, deep to left. And it's a cold blue for PFC Santiago Perez. My bad. Perez charged with an error. Donalds goes to second. Perez also an 0 for 5 at the plate. Next batter, Chad Kruder. Strikes out, but Wiki Gonzalez can't hold on to the wild pitch. Runners advance. Still no one out. Tying run comes up. Two batters later, Jeff Rebele. Pinch hitting. 200 consecutive games for Rebele without a home run, and he yokes it to left. Perez goes back, but the same fan is at this ball game. He just went down the coast. <laughs> Take another look. It looks like fan interference with... Perez, but it's ruled a game tying homer. Rebele, oh. 15th career homer in his 800th career game. That's a bad call. Bad call. Bruce Bochy argued and got tossed. Bottom 10, bases loaded. Jay Watasik pitching. Tom Goodwin strikes out, but he got hit. That could have won the game for the Dodgers. Top 11 runner at second. Bubba Trammell getting his rake on. His third double of the year scores Phil Nevin. Padres win it 7 to 6. Trevor Hoffman blew his first save of the year, but this was only a second save situation. Hoffman's averaged 41 saves the last six seasons. They did a Sports Center commercial himself. Dodgers hit back to back homers for the fifth time this year. Ball for the Diamondbacks and the Rockies. Larry Walker against Armando Reynosa. Walker's ninth home run of the year, first ever at Bank One Ballpark. Bottom five, Pedro Estacio is just cruising, and Steve Finley is just looking. Next batter, Rod Barajas. Eight Ks in the game for Estacio. Bottom nine, two nothing Rockies. One on, nobody out. Matt Williams with a base knock, and Estacio will get the hook. Bases loaded, nobody out. Jose Jimenez against Reggie Sanders. And the 5-3 double play. Gonzalez scores two on Rockies. Next batter, man on second, two outs, it's Steve Finley. Pedro Stasios will celebrate as Todd Helton beats Finley to the bag. Rockies win this one two to one. Astacio is the 22nd pitcher in modern history to hit four batters in a game. He's the Rockies all time victories leader with 50. With nine home runs, Larry Walker has already matched his entire total. All right, Red Sox, Yankees, Ted Lilly on the hill for the Yanks. First AL start. Top six, game title one. Nobody on, nobody out. Manny Ramirez. Get up. Get up. Chuck Knobloch loses, it doesn't matter. Second homer of the game for Manny, second multi-homer game this year. 24th multi-homer game for his career, Sox up 2-1. Bottom seven, nobody on two out. Scott Brocious takes Rich Garces out. First jack of the year for Brocious, game tied at two. He had 16 homers last year. Bottom nine, runners in first and second, two outs. Rod Beck slips off the mound. Caught for his first balk since 92, only his third in his career. Runners advance to second, third. Same at bat. One, two count to Knobloch and Beck. 261 career saves. Tells Chuck, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the heck up out of here. Now top 10, runners first and second, two outs. Trot Nixon comes in to run for Manny at second base. Sam at bat. Jason Veritek facing Mariano Rivera. Veritek, broken bat, breaking off a little something righteous. Trot Nixon hustles around third to score. Veritek a fat three for five day. The move paid off. Socks up 3-2. Bottom 10, 3-2 game. Nobody on, one out. 
Paul O'Neill straight bringing the pain. But it looks like he's in pain. Come on, Paul. <laughs> oh, this is Paul. Look. Look, Paul. His seventh homer of the year. First time in his career he had seven jacks in April. We're tied at three. Two batters later, later David Justice. Game recognizes game. In his first four at bats, Justice struck out. First time in his career, he's K'd four straight times in one game, and then he makes up with it with his fourth homer of the year. Yankees win 4-3 in 10 innings. Red Sox took three different one-run leads, and the Yankees tied it three times with solo homers. Said David Justice about the teams playing 19 games this year instead of the usual 13. It's going to be like this a whole lot this year, back and forth. As for Derek Lowe, who's now 1-3 with an ERA of almost a touchdown, he said it's like a nightmare I can't get out of. As for Paul O'Neill, nothing but a little relief. I had hit the ball the time before pretty good, and I thought I had a chance to, you know, to get off the wall or something, and it, it just, it was dead. It died. It went right to Lewis. So then that ball, as soon as I hit it, I, I know I didn't hit it that great. I know I had a good swing out of it. I, I just missed it. But uh, I guess that ball got up high, and, uh, you know, the wind carried it. So it's... Uh, a big break for us. I was just thinking, I don't want to be seeing a curveball because we got the shadows. So beat those in the first pitch fastball. That's the one I want to hit. That's all I was thinking. Derek Lowe has established himself as one of the game's better closers, having nailed down 59 saves and 70 chances over the last three seasons. But Yankees been beating that kid down, man. For his career against New York, 7.62 ERA, by far his highest ERA against any one AL opponent. Baltimore is next at. Man at second. That's Felix Martinez at second. And that's Russ Johnson taking Ryan Kohlmeyer, the Devil Rays, within one. Next batter, Greg Vaughn. Vaughn is in. Slot. That's back to back jacks. Kohlmeyer's first blown save in four opportunities. We go to the 11th, still tied. The Orioles with two men aboard. It's Delino to Shields. Off Esteban Yan brings in Melvin Mora. The Orioles back up nine to eight. They would go on to win it. By the final of 10 to 8. In 19 games this season, the Astros, bottom one, two outs, no score, Jeff Bagwell. And the Lord said you got to rise up. Bagwell's fifth homer of the year, Stroh's up, one zip. Okay, we know you caught the ball. You just, all right, you're, all right, you're in Sports Center. All right, top six, one out, Cardinals down three, two, Bobby Bonilla up, Wade Miller. Wade was the bomb. Career high 13 Ks for the game. Bobby lost his bat and his chance at the plate. Top seven, Albert Pujols. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. Second crank of the game, first career multi-crank game, sixth crank of the year. We are tied at three. Bottom eight, one out, bases loaded. Richard Hidalgo up to, the, up to bat, hits to left field. Ray Langford, nice grab. But Craig Biggio tags, scores a winning run. Biggio also now 10 hits shy of 2,000 for his career. Pirates and Cubs, Julio Zaleta in the eighth. It's deep, but it's playable. Emil Brown is back on it and makes the great grab. I get open, Gowie, you get Brown. Great. Brown makes the jump perfectly. Zaleta is crestfallen. Top 10, Mike Williams pitching tied at two. Gary Matthews Jr. has just left the building. Cubs take a 3-2 lead. Matthews' first home run of the year. Still in the 10th, one out, runner at first, Rondell White. Into the seats. The umpire would call fan interference. White is forced to stop at second. Look at it again. The fan reaches over the wall. White gets a ground rule double. Bill Miller has to hold it third after an intentional walk to Sammy Sosa. Julio Zaleta, the one, two, three, inning ending double play. Bottom 10, runner at first, Jason Kendall. It is deep, but is it playable? Rondell White is back and can't bring it back. Ball game. White leaps over the wall. Does the fan interfere? Home run is good. Pirate fans, not nice to White on this day. Pirates win this one by the count of four to three. The Pirates' first win over the Cubs in six tries. Jeff Vicero, who was uh, pitching for the third straight day, took the loss. Mike Williams, who coughed up Todd Hundley's game winner Saturday, got the win. The Twins finished up business in Chicago. This is Maglio Ordonia's bottom of the third. White Sox already up 1-0, and Ordonia thinks he's put his team up 3-0.
Jacques Jones brings it back and worth another look. It's pitching and defense and timely hitting with the Twins. That's the defense. Great pitching. As for the hitting, David Ortiz gone. Two run homer with a game tied at two. Twins up four to two. And that would be the final. Twins have defeated the Sox six consecutive times over the last two weekends. Minnesota has won City, the Royals and Blue Jays. It's Mike Sweeney off Kelv Escobar. Fifth homer this season. Royals would win this one five to one. All five of Sweeney's home runs have come against Toronto pitching. Dan Reichert allowed one unearned run and lowered his ERA to 2.73. His one loss this season, a one nothing final against the Yankees. Mike Mussina in the third game of the season. Kansas City has homered in 15 consecutive games. The major league record is 25 by three teams, last done by the 1998 Braves. The major league record for consecutive sellouts is 455. The number 455 retired in honor of Cleveland fans. Tigers at the Jake top third, ill defense by Jim Tomey. Diving stop at first, throws to Dave Berger, covering first for the out. Tomey's got glove and he's got wood. Mm. Lord have mercy. He done made his kinfolk so proud. Is that in there. Ray Ray? That's Ray Ray. You know Ray Ray and Lucretia, Moesha, baby daddy. You know them, Dan. Second two-run homer in two days by Tommy. Third homer of the year. Top five, five, three Indians. Berber in trouble. Two on, two out. Struck out Rob Fick. Got out of the inning. Bottom six, Juan Gonzalez against his former team. Spoken word. His seventh homer of the year. Every Indian starter had at least one hit. Indians win 11-3. to three. And for the record, Dan, Pookie and them were in the stands. But they were up in the third level because you Reds and Mets. Elmer descends on the mound, top of the second, nobody out. Soyoshi Shinjo at first, Jay Payton to Michael Tucker, and Shinjo got greedy and got caught for the double play. Top five, Shinjo. Homer O. Second homer of the year. Mets take to a 2 0 lead. Top six, two outs, two men aboard. And the hot hitting Todd Zeal at the plate. Zeal, six for 11, six RBIs in the three game set. The double brings in Joe McEwing and Edgardo Alfonso. Three RBIs for Zeal on the afternoon. Mets go up four to nothing. Mets go on to win this one by the final of five to one. Rick Reed allowed six hits in six plus innings. He allowed his first walk. In Trying not to get swept by the Phil's top three, two out runners on second for BJ Suroff. Braves down one zip. Serhoff, ground ball to right. Bobby Abreu, kid with the gun down, 9-1-1. Guns down Rafael for a call. Ill block at the plate by Mike Lieberthal. Lieberthal might have gone 0 for 3, might be hitting just 2-0-3, but that block was hard. Booyah! Bottom five, Doug Glenville takes John Birkin out. Glenville's third home run of the year. He's got nine RBI, three zip Phillies. Top eight, two out. Amari Telemaco rocks four call to sleep. Telemaco, eight innings, four hits, two balls, four strikeouts. Top nine runners at the corners. Incoming, Jose Mason. Fastball over the head of Lieberthal. Surhoff scores. Braves down 3-1 to a Philly team that managed only four hits. Same inning. Wayne Gomes schools Kilvio Barris with two on to end the inning. Braves have scored just 28 runs their last 14 games. You saw Larry Boa. Fall for the Angels and the Mariners. It's Aaron Seeley. Hoping to help the M's to a sweep. Seeley to Garrett Anderson. The 4-6-3 double play in the top of the fourth. Seeley pitched six scoreless innings. Bottom four, Al Martin. It's deep and not playable. First homer of the year for Al. Martin's led it. The Mariners led it two to nothing. The Al Mariners. Mariners up five nothing. Darren Erstad. Mark McLemore with the grab and gets the force at second. Mariners win this one by the final of five to nothing. Mariners complete the four game sweep of the Angels. That's the first time in team history they have done that. With the sweep, the M's improved to 15 and four. They now head east to meet the Yankees. This marked the 15th time in 19 games the Angels' opponent has scored first. A's at the ballpark in Arlington. Gabe Kapler back in the lineup after being sidelined with that bad hammy. Bottom three, 2 1 open. Rafael Palmer. As cool as the other side of the pillow. One of the prettiest swings in the game. Three run shot for Rafi. His fifth of the year, 4 2 Texas. Bottom six, 6 2 Texas. Kapler in first. Boy, they missed that power and speed. Breaks for the steal. Sal Fasano's throw not in time. 
Kapler at eight steals last year. He'd advance to third on a Rusty Greer fly ball. Next batter, Randy Velarde. Tim Hudson uncorks his third wild pitch of the year. Kapler with Jets from third. Rangers would add four more. They win the game 11-2. Rick Kelly goes six and two-thirds to get his first win of the season. He was winless his first four starts, giving up 20 runs and 26 hits before this. Whether it's a pitching change or a hit and run, Boa hasn't hesitated in his decision making. Said Phillies catcher Mike Lieberthal, he does what he needs to do every single game. Fills off their sweep of the Braves now in San Diego. Travis Lee up against the struggling Adam Eaton. With a runner on, told you he was struggling. Lee, his seventh home run given up by Eaton this year. It's Lee's second homer. Phillies up 3-0. Scott rolling up with two outs. Roland's third home run of the year. Deep into the night, the Phillies are up four to one. Bottom of the fourth, Phil Nevin up against Bruce Chen with one out. Nevin pops up. Marlon Anderson goes out. Bobby Abreu is somewhere. And look out. Take another look. What happened there? Anderson would be running backward. Does not get called off by Abreu. And luckily, they did not hit each other very hard. It was later called a double. Next batter, Bubba Trammell. Trammell likes that pitch. Down the third base line it goes. It was an error on Roland. Two runs scored for Trammell in this game. After a walk to Mike Doran, Chen has the bases loaded, only one out. No problem getting Ben Davis looking. Next batter for Bruce Chen, who had it going on and going on well, was Donaldo Mendez. Chen had a season-high seven Ks through five innings. Bottom seven, into pinch hit Dave Magadan. Against Padilla with a runner on first, Magadan. Seeing eye up the middle, Marlon Anderson, great stop. Then the throw over his head to get the force in second. Part of the reason why the Phillies are in first in the NL East. Take another look. Not only are they getting the offense, the home runs, but getting defensive plays like that by Marlon Anderson. 5-3, the final. Phillies go west and still win. Marlins and D-backs each showing their career strikeout leaders. Randy Johnson, Ryan Dempster. That would be Randy Johnson. Yeah, he's taller when he stands up. Top second in the unit. Dominant early. Preston Wilson goes. Charles Johnson goes. Ryan Dempster goes. He's the pitcher. That doesn't even count. Johnson gets Lewis Castillo. 755 career Ks as a Diamondback for Randy Johnson. Bottom five, the unit. He's swinging a hot stick. 111. There you go. Base knock goes down to first. Let's bring on Jay Bell. See what he can do. Whack. Jay Bell going the other way. That'll drop. Rattle around down there in the corner. And Johnson. Now he's a long strider. He's going to make it home to make it four nothing. Jay Bell in at second. Same inning. D backs now up six to nothing. Joe Strong in for Dempster. Reggie Sanders. What a free agent pickup for the D backs. Three run homer is eighth of the season. His seventh in six games. They get six runs in the fifth. Take a nine nothing lead. And from there, it's all about the unit. This is the six. Joe Strong, not very. Luis Castillo. The defense gets to rest. Derek Owens, down he goes. Strikes out the side in the sixth. And in the ninth, Johnson pitching for the complete game and double digit strikeout total. Charles Johnson, congratulations. Your strikeout victim number 3,719 of the unit's big league career, 9 0. Johnson throws his 29th career whitewash. Six. George Bush, the older guy, the former president there. Hey, look! Craig Biggio. Hey, look! Brian Jordan. Great catch. We'll see it again. It's the same thing, only slower. My kids remember grass stains, little bleach, soak them overnight. Mom will get that stain right out. Bottom five. Boom, 5 1 Braves. Julio Lugo. Right there to Andrew Jones. Whoop. Air number one. Chris Truby scores. Now Jones goes back, retrieves it. He's going to throw. Lugo's running all the way, except we missed the cutoff, man, so Lugo's going to have to start over, speed up. And he goes all the way inside the park for a home run. Well, no, it's a single, plus two airs charged to Jones. Astros trail 5-3. Rico Bronia with the bases chucked. Jones will score, B.J. Surhoff scores, and the Braves lead 7-4. They scored seven times. They made it 9-5, going to the ninth, but the Astros aren't done. Look at Bagwell. Jeff Bagwell off John Rocker, and that is a long way. The fair foul. I have to get some kind of telescopic device to check it out. After a lot of discussion, much discussion, final rolling, foul ball. Bagwell would later step out. Now, the Astros... They have three last at bat wins this season. Here, Brad Osmus with men on second and third. Well, Flair gets down. Moises Alou scores. Lance Berkman scores. It's now 9 7. Rocker struggling mightily. They keep him in. He's still on the bump when Tony Eusebio comes up with two men in scoring position. 
and he hits a rope but right at Brian Jordan, who did not have to dive on that one. Braves and their three-game losing jag, 9-7. They hit 314 in the